Hey math fans, Jason Marshall here with a quick video extra appendix to Math Dude episode 26 on calculating standard deviations. In the podcast, we talked about an easy way to calculate an approximation to the standard deviation just to get a feel for what it tells us. In this video, we'll talk about how to calculate the real thing. So, how do you calculate the standard deviation? Well, let's take as our example four glasses of water that have heights of 1, 0 0.25, 0 0.75, and 0 0.5. Finding the standard deviation is a five-step process. Up first, you need to calculate the mean height of water, which in this case is 0 0.625. Step two is to calculate the difference between the height of each glass of water and the mean height. These differences are 0 0.375, negative 0 0.375, 0 0.125, and negative 0 0.125. Step three is to calculate the square of these differences from the mean. Notice that 0 0.375 squared and negative 0 0.375 squared have the same value, and the same is true for 0 0.125 squared and negative 0 0.125 squared. Okay, step four is to find the mean of these squared differences. This value, 0 0.0785 in this case, is also known as the variance. Finally, the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance, so it's 0 0.28. You now see what I mean when I said the real way to calculate the standard deviation is a bit of work. It's not terribly difficult, but there are a lot of steps, which is why the approximate quasi-standard deviation I talked about in the podcast is useful for just getting an idea of what the real standard deviation means. Okay, that's all for now. Until next time, this is Jason Marshall with this week's Math Dude Video Extra. Thanks for watching, math fans.